Hey guys and dolls, I'm back in my kitchen and I haven't been in here in quite a while. We haven't been in here together. Ooh. I keep getting asked to do more recipe videos as you guys seem to like my other ones. If you haven't seen any of those, just check my health playlist and my healthy DIYs playlist. But today I want to share with you a summer breakfast recipe that I'm obsessed with right now and I've been having it most mornings. Myself and my boyfriend can't stop eating it ever since we first had it when we were over in London for IMAX recently. It's a really nice change up from wintry kind of warm breakfasts like porridge and scrambled eggs on toast and stuff like that just because the weather's that little bit warmer. Not much warmer left to be honest because I'm in here in Ireland and yeah the weather's kind of crap all the time. This is full of nutrients and it's very very filling and I need to have something sweet and carby most mornings. Um, as you'll know if you saw my recent life after an eating disorder video, which I shared with you everything that I went through. I am recovering from orthorexia and binge eating, so for me, I don't cut out anything. I don't cut out any food groups anymore. Um, it just leads to obsessive thinking and stuff for me. So my way is a balanced way, balanced lifestyle. I just try and have all the food groups in every single meal. So I'll try and have protein, carbs, and fat with every meal. And not too much sugar, but I love sugar, so I don't cut that out anymore either. This breakfast that I'm about to show you is eating in so many different countries full of healthy populations and is very, very satisfying. It'll only take a couple of minutes to run through this. You only need four ingredients. Yes. Shazam! So let's -a go! So the summer breakfast I've been absolutely loving is bursher muesli and not bear shit muesli as we used to call it as children. So one of the four ingredients in my bursher muesli is muesli and I'm using this superfood muesli which is really great for fibre and full of energy. Then I'm adding some cherries which is one of my favourite fruits and some blueberry flavoured Greek yogurt and this has protein, probiotics and it's really good for your gut gets things moving that's what I like to hear the addition of some juice is primarily just for the taste and yeah makes the breakfast lovely and sludgy I will list the benefits of all these foods in the description box below along with the full recipe and measurements and all those jazz apples <laughs> what you want to do then is chop up all your cherries and add everything into a big massive mixing bowl and then whiz it all up just get a big spoon and mix it all up and what you do is you place it into the fridge overnight covered and it will all kind of come together in a big purple mass of gloriousness for the next day wait until you taste this stuff so yeah I am off to eat this right now because it looks divine Purple is my favourite colour. No, it's not. It's one of my favourites. But uh, yeah, please let me know if you enjoyed this little quick video and if you've had this before, if you're planning on making it and how would you kind of switch it up and change it up. Keep in mind you can mix this up whatever way you want. You can use any type of yogurt, any type of muesli or just plain oats if you feel like it. You can use any kind of juice, literally any kind of juice and any kind of fruit. So yeah, I just like to make sure that my yogurt is organic and I like and um, berries are my favorite thing to have so at the moment my favorite is definitely raspberries but yeah I just had a lot of cherries lying around so I had to use them up. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment let me know what you thought. I'll see you in my next video guys I was actually uh, filming my morning routine today which I've been requested so much so keep an eye out for that too. Bye! Hello! So guys, today I'm going to share with you a healthier muffin recipe and this recipe is brought to you from Better Than Noodles, which is where I got it. This is a website.